One of the popular misconceptions about RPZ backflow preventers is that because of the pressure changes, both within the premises and in the public water supply at the street, they're designed to emit an occasional trickle of water to accommodate such changes. This is a dangerous misconception. Where the double check backflow preventer will return contaminated water to the water supply if the redundant check valves fail, the reduced pressure zone backflow preventer uses gravity and pressure differentials, both immutable universal forces, to safely dump all contaminated water. So while the RPZ is truly a fail-safe device, it comes at a calculated cost, and that cost is the surrounding area. Hi, I'm Randy Holland with Safety Cover, and we're here at the Nashville Fire Department Training Facility, and they've been gracious enough to set us up with the opportunity to test one of these RP backflow preventers. We have a three-inch Febco backflow preventer here, and we're going to set it up so that it will show what happens when these things fail. Check it out. In order to visualize the speed with which a flood can occur, we've placed a five gallon bucket under the relief valve. Let's see how long it takes to fill the bucket. Wow, that was fast. Five gallons in about one and a half seconds. So at 3.3 gallons per second, it seems really fast, but believe it or not, it's only about half what most manufacturers specify as possible. But let's forget about what's possible for a second and think about this backflow preventer. Let's say this guy is in a 12 by 12 mechanical room with a typical four inch drain. After just a little bit of dumb guy math, we see that that system will clear 1.8 gallons a second. A little more dumb guy math reveals that even with the drain included, that's about a foot of water every 10 minutes. So real world testing reveals that even the smallest of flange sized backflow preventers is a true flood hazard. Imagine what a 4, 6 or even 10 inch system is capable of. Special thanks to the Nashville Fire Department and Sullivan Plumbing for all their help on this project.